There she is, man. Let's take her for a ride. We got some plans to do some stuff on this bike here. Y'all ready? Cold start. Oh. Stay tuned for some good stuff. We gotta do some upgrades to this bike. Let's talk about it. Woo, baby. I don't get to do that too much anymore because I always have the wife in the back, man. Welcome back to the channel. Listen up. Up till now, everything I've done on this bike has been performance related. I did the stage two. And I upgraded the oil pump. Then I upgraded the cam to the 475, the SNS 475. And I've done like little things cosmetically, you know, like I changed the fuel lid. What else did I do? The engine guard. I put LEDs on it. Not much. These bars right here. So I bought the bike used with 460 miles on it. It was brand new, basically. But the guy had already installed these bars. These are the Harley Davidson chiseled short bars, I believe. And they're about... I want to say like a 9 or 10 inch, probably a 10 inch. Uh, the name doesn't really suggest the size. I didn't look at the description. Since I didn't buy them, I don't know much about them, but that I'm pretty sure they're the chiseled. We got to put new bars, and I want chrome back on there, man. So anyway, today I'm going to head to the Harley dealer. And I should have, they should have been ordered for me already. So I got two things that I need to put on here. Number one is, I don't know if you saw my last video, I mentioned the windshield. I ordered a Clockworks 11 inch. The 11 inch are on back order from the manufacturer. They've been on back order. I ordered these things like maybe six weeks ago. And um, they still haven't arrived so I'm gonna check on that today and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I did ask uh, Patrick through my mechanic Jesse see if they had um, some factory 47s and at first they were showing one in stock and I knew one in stock means zero man anytime somebody tells you oh we're showing one in stock forget about it it's not there so this Sunday, hopefully this video gets up before the weekend, but this Sunday, uh, we got a big ride plan to Chokoloski Island. And we're gonna meet up right here at uh, Cafe 27. 10 a.m., kickstand's up at 11 a.m., and we're out, bro. We're gonna go to a place there, I believe it's called Havana Cafe. So stay tuned for that. That should be pretty cool because uh, I think we got a heck of a lot of riders going to that. I'm pretty sure we do. Hopefully we have some of my viewers going. I'd like to meet some of you in person. That'd be cool, man. That would be the icing on the cake to that ride. But anyway, that ride's coming up. And then summer, I got a special ride. I ain't even going to mention it because every time I mention something, something happens. Last time when I was going to Daytona Beach, I had to put my dog down, unfortunately, and uh, that was a sad situation, man. That guy, you know, we had him as a puppy, and we had to put him down exactly one one month before his 12th birthday, and I was just not in the mood to do anything, man. So the factory 47 bars I got are the chrome 12-inch, and they have the drop-down uh, to the grip pretty cool I didn't want to get 14 inch for me uh, I ride long distance I don't think that'll be comfortable for me 
I've tried the 14 inch, I tried the 12 inch and fell in love with the 12 inch. Um, I don't want this to look like a chopper. I want to keep her as classic looking as possible. And hopefully in the future a little sleeper with that 128 kit. We'll see. She be coming around the mountain when she comes. So the other day I was coming to work. This is my route to work by the way. And uh, one of these big dump trucks lost it right here. Right here. See it? See all the gravel and stuff? Right in front of me, man. It didn't block traffic. Um, it kind of fell off to the side and I just kept going, man. Uh, there were already people like right behind them ready to, uh, to take care of them. So I had to get to work. All right, I gotta get from behind this truck, man. That thing is spitting up gravel at me. This thing in my arms. Oh, I think it's that one up there, that dump truck. Come on, bro. Woo! That hurts, man. What the hell? You. I got you, man. I heard you. Oh, man. I gotta get my bike dirty, bro. It's dirty anyway. Stella needs a nice cleaning. She needs a bikini wash. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells like fresh cut grass. Yes. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of my football days. Fresh cut grass. Yeah, we used to have grass back in the day. I think my last year in college we played on turf. I hate turf. That's when all those knee injuries started, man, when we started putting turf on those football fields. All the knee injuries started. Thank goodness I was on my way out already. I gotta find a shade. Right here. That's my shade. Oh yeah. Alright now, let's get in here. Let's see what's going on. So, getting the factory 47s and checking on the windshield. First of all, let me visit Pat, see if he's back here. What's today? Thursday, he should be here. Say hello to Mindy. Look at Mindy. Say good morning, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan's new, huh? And you're training him up? All right. Let's catch him by surprise. He hasn't been on camera for a while. This guy is notorious for doing stuff doing nothing. that, you know, it's a little shady. Let's go take a look at this bike. Shady? Whoa! Let's, host, let's, let's go see the cars. Welcome to MTV Cribs. There you go. MTV Cribs. Golly, you just brought memories back. This is where the magic happened. Oh, yeah. Is that your bike? Yeah, that is my bike. What are you doing? I got one bike in the shop and or, I got my or, other bike in the or shop. Or should I ask, what did you do? The uh, question is, what didn't I do? I broke the exhaust that off the head. <laughs> so, so then I was like, yo, let me just take my other bike. Boom, broke that one too, so. Wait, which one is your other bike? Dyna. Oh, I didn't know you had a Dyna. Yeah. Oh, look at and you. And if your fans ever want to know, you can zoom in right there. There you go. I do that. Whatever that is. Yeah, I do that. Is that too much for your fans? I don't know. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> That's a sweet ride right there, man. Ooh, look at that paint job. That's my brother's bike. 
he just put Carlini's on, which by the way, that's the reason I gotta do some upgrades. I gotta do some cosmetics. So look, he put the luggage rack not too long ago. He just put the Carlini's and guess what he did? Just take a guess. I'm not even gonna tell you. Yeah. Still under warranty. <laughs> Still under warranty. Something like that. Uh, uh oh. Is it tuned? Yes, sir. Is dyno tuned? I need a dyno tune, man. My bike. Made runs, more than you. My bike runs like. Probably. No, we don't know what mine made after I put the uh, 475 in it. We don't because we just put a map on it. I put yeah. a map on it. Yeah. Probably makes like 100 horsepower, 100 torque. No, it was making that before with the 498 that people. Are making the same thing as him. We start it. Go. <laughs> Play the Reinhardt, bro. Oh, bro. This dog. Damn. I'm jealous. Hey. Those grips came with the Carlini? I think he took those out. Did he? So what are the numbers? Uh, I have the dyno graph on my desk. I think it made uh, 115, 117 horsepower. What the? Oh yeah, but this is a special. Mine's a base. Yeah, yeah, Mine's a 107. Season, so made a little yeah, so I'm probably, I'm probably like a 107. Oh, oh, well, we got to like, tune it. Probably like 110 horsepower, like 121, 122 torque, something like that. Thing is, I haven't tuned mine because I was going to do the 128 on it. Do the 128, man. So I gotta, you know, I'm not gonna tune it if I'm gonna fuck it. It'll be a waste of money. Yeah. Tune it after I hit. Save your, save your money. Look, this is the appealing part of Harley Davidson. That's where we put all the Hondas. <laughs> if, you, if I got any Honda fans, you didn't hear that, bro. I'll bleep that out. <laughs> I'll bleep that one out, man. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know, I saw a gold wing out there. Gotta be careful. That's probably a trade-in. They probably figured it out. No, it was in the parking lot. It was in the parking lot, man. Oh, yeah, he's probably looking to trade it in. All right, so you know what I came here for today? It's coffee. <laughs> that too. <laughs> First off, just the coffee. I know Jesse called you on that Factory 47. I told him it wasn't here. What do you mean? No, I know. Oh. But but he, uh, he said to order, right? And you, yeah, I ordered it already. You did? Yeah. Show me the proof. Got to, got to tell him that. Dude, I'm telling you. That's the way you got to be around here, by the way. If you come to Alligator Alley and you talk to this guy, tell him sure. to show you the proof. When he says he ordered something, tell him to show you the proof. Hey, hey, I didn't order. <laughs> and you see with the, the sly smile he says that with? That's why, I, that's why I tell him to show me the proof. No. Show me the money. When I bet I said I ordered it, I'm going to order it. Hey, can you look up, see if my windshield came in by any chance? Back order to the 31st. Still, God. Look, maybe you all know her. Who's this? Oh, it's Christy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you decorating the, uh, putting the eggs out. Was that you putting the eggs out? Yeah, the huevitos out everywhere. The <laughs> <laughs> huevitos, she says. Huevitos. <laughs> oh, look how cute. I know who put these up. She's like, what do you do here, Christy? I am the event coordinator for Alligator. Oh, time for some coffee, bro. Let's see what we're doing today. Let's see what cafe we got. Don't put this much sugar in your coffee ever, all right? Just saying. See how many he's doing with the new recruit. Mindy, you want me to help you with the train? I want to make this bike money right here. Look at it. Hmm. Victor, let's make you famous, man. Let's make me famous. Oh crap, man, who's looking for me? 
Name, rank, and serial number. Name, rank, and serial number, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, Pretty good, man. Yeah. This guy's been here more than us. This guy, this guy knows I live better here. than we do. <laughs> I live here. I was just rearranging the furniture, by the way. Oh, there you go, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> See, he keeps the house tidy, too. Baby, I gotta go get something to eat, man. So anyway, update on the stuff I'm buying. Factory 47s were not on order, as you saw. So, had to put those on order. Should get those within a week or so, I'm sure. And my windshield is uh, on back order still until the 31st now. It was until the 13th. Now, 31st. So anyway, if you guys are local, I want to remind you again, this Sunday, hopefully this video gets out before then, but this Sunday we're meeting at Cafe 27, 10 a.m. And kick stands up at 11 a.m. Uh, if you look on Instagram, I'm going to put the in, his Instagram up, but uh, a guy that goes by the name of Sliding Never Hiding. He's the one putting that ride together, but we're going to kick stands up at 11 and we're going to ride to Chokoloski Island. Should be a nice little ride. next year is right around the corner so I'm gonna stop here have a quick lunch I won't bore you guys with the details but this was a short one just to let you know I got some upgrades I'm gonna start a little upgrade series because I'm gonna do the 128 pretty soon um, so I'll keep you guys abreast of that anywho love you guys until next time stay safe on the road see y'all real soon Peace.